Hey what's up guys, Hava here and today I'm going to be showing you how to create these sun star flares completely in camera super easily. So this technique looks really cool, is stylistic and is very easy to do. And all you're going to need is a DSLR or mirrorless camera or some sort of camera with an interchangeable lens and a variable aperture. Now once you have your camera, all you're going to do is basically put your aperture or f-stop as high as it can possibly go, which is usually f22 in most cameras, but basically what this is going to do is let less light into the camera, which basically means there's just a pinprick of light coming into the camera, which creates this star flare, which is super cool and stylistic. This kind of depends on your lens, but for this specific lens, the controls are electronic and inside the camera, so you'll have to change the aperture that way, but for my other lenses, they're manual, so you can just turn a wheel to change the aperture. <laughs> so just for example here, if we look at the sun with my aperture at 2.8, you can see it's completely overexposed, but as I bring it down to 5.6 and even lower all the way to f22, you can see that the star shape starts to come out around the sun. So again, here we have the sun at f2.8, here's the sun at f8, you can start to see a little bit of the star flare, here's the sun at f16, it's really starting to come out now, and finally at f22 you can see the most star flares on the sun. And this technique also works for other single point light sources, like for example if I have my phone flashlight on you can also see that star shape. But anyway, that's basically it. This is just a super easy technique that can add some cinematic flair to your shots and make them look a lot cooler. If you like this little video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.